Hello, my name is William Clark, Business Development Manager for Lexus, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Lexus IS300 Hybrid. First of all, we'll show you the key. The key has three buttons lock, unlock, and boot release. When we press the lock button, the indicator flash showing that the vehicle is locked. When we press the unlock button, once again, the indicator's flash and also the daytime running lights come on. Now we'll show you how to put fuel in the vehicle. The fuel cap is located on the passenger side of the vehicle. When the vehicle is unlocked, we then got access to the fuel flap. If you just depress the flap itself, which then exposes the cap, if we turn the cap anti-clockwise, once the cap's removed, when we fuel in, you can place it out of the way on the housing there. When you finish refueling, the cap goes in and we turn it clockwise. When you hear the click sound, you know that the cap is securely in place and locked. Then what we do is close the lid and then we can get access to the tailgate. Uh, you can open the tailgate by pressing the button on the remote key or just to the right hand side there's a little rubber button which also opens the tailgate. The tailgate has a false floor, which underneath the false floor, this exposes some of the tools. We've got the towing eye, wheel brace, and the jack assister. The jack and emergency tyre inflator are located under this cover here, which just pulls off. So we've got the emergency tyre inflator, sealant, and the jack. The cover just presses back on. Close the tailgate, there's a little lever under here. On the rear doors, we also have the child lock function. Just here, there's a little lever, and you can move the lever up or down and put it in the lock position. The rear seats have Isofix on both rear seats. On this one, the centre armrest is down and exposing the cup holders. Now we'll get an entry to the driver's side. The driver's seat is adjustable forwards and backwards with the lever. Just lift the lever up, which then enables the seat to move. Also on the seat, there are two more levers. We have the height adjustment, so height adjustment for the seat base, and this lever is for the seat back. Most importantly on Lexus, there's a small sticker here which also shows the tyre pressures and it gives you all the loading options when the vehicle is fully loaded or when it's just yourself in the vehicle. On the driver's door, we've got some more controls. So the electric mirror adjustments, so depending on which side mirror you're adjusting, and then the control pad, and there's also a button here which folds the mirrors. Some more locking options for the doors. Once you're in the vehicle, you can unlock and lock the doors all of the doors by these buttons here and this is an electric window cutoff switch so once this is depressed only this door panel will operate the door so no one in the rear or the passenger side will be able to operate the electric windows once you're in the vehicle and comfortable we start the vehicle we press the brake pedal and press the power button now the vehicle's running on the steering wheel itself, uh, there is an adjustment underneath. There's a little lever. This lever here, once it's in the down position, you can then adjust the steering wheel to your comfortable position. Now we'll show you some of the controls inside the vehicle. So once you're comfortable in the vehicle, You've got all the controls on the steering wheel. You've got the volume control for the audio. And on the right hand side for the central, central driver display, you've got uh, some options here and a joypad where you can go through all the settings and menus and customization features. In the center of the dashboard, we've got the climate control. It's dual, dual zone climate control. Uh, so the driver and passenger can have separate temperature each side and the temperature is adjusted on these sliders here. Just run your finger up and down. 
audio controls also here as well and the CD drive. Uh, the vehicle is automatic, it's in the park position at the moment. To move the gear lever into one of the drive options, reverse or drive, to press your foot on the, accel on the brake and move the gear lever. So it's in reverse and drive. Also on the centre console we've got the drive mode selector. Turn the selector to the left is eco mode. Push the button is normal mode and turn it to the right we've got the sport. Um, full EV mode, traction control and hopefully you won't get any snow but snow if we do need it. Inside the centre console there are also phone charging and USB um, connectivity here with the auxiliary device as well. The glove box is open just by pressing this button here and inside the glove box you'll find your locking wheel nut key with the instructions and the locking wheel nut key. That's for um, your leasing provider if they need to remove the wheels for any reason that's located in there. Also the driver's handbook is in here. When you receive your vehicle on the passenger seat there will also be a handover pack um, from your leasing provider uh, with all the necessary paperwork uh, to get you started um, and away in your new Lexus. And to open the bonnet there's a small lever just here if you pull the lever towards you the bonnet will unlock. If you follow the L of the Lexus up, place your hand in, there's a little lever inside, lift the lever and the bonnet will release. It's assisted by the hydraulic jacks. Under the bonnet um, is really for our trained Lexus technicians, uh, but there are two things that you can do. The screen wash which is just normal tap water and Lexus additive and the engine oil. Check the level of the engine oil on the dipstick, remove the dipstick and there's two indications on the dipstick, minimum and maximum. Um, everything else leave to us and to close the bonnet, you just pull it down. If you do have any questions, at the bottom of this email uh, there are our contact details and we're quite happy to answer any questions you may have on your new Lexus. Thank you very much for watching.